I'm not dead. Or at least not dead yet. Hopefully this not dead thing continues for a while longer. I've just gotten my machete psychic surgery from Jorge Golia. And boy, are my balls tired. It's like a very niche mile high club. Just way more painful and a lot weirder. Take that off the to-do list, I guess. Oh wait, there's been a giant television here the whole time and I didn't notice until I just hit it with my head? Oh my god, there it was the whole time in front of me. But I was too blinded by my own fear to realize it. All this time I thought the tension in the room was from Jorge's surgeries. But in actuality, it's from the telenovela. What he's actually thinking about, instead of what I thought he's thinking about, is the telenovela. Does Pablo love Sofia? Or is he just hoping her sister Maria comes out of the coma so he can be with her? Even in a coma, Maria is irresistible. You, when you hit it, it's, it's, it's gone. You, you, you hit it. You fucked it up. <laughs> Vaya casa. Hey, go, go home. Go hey, home. Oye, y pélate que no te queda bien esa mierda. He's like, get a haircut. That shit doesn't look good. <laughs> okay. oh my God. I mean, obviously, that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, as far as how intense that might go or be, that, that was the, the highest end of the intensity. Al and I heard about some guy who had something wrong with his testicles, and we're like, God, as long as that doesn't happen, yeah. what herbs do we have to get? We've got liver, we've got gastritis. He talked very highly of hibiscus, flor de jamaica is hibiscus. Okay, so we buy it. So, right? yeah. El maestro recetó esto, y pues, ¿qué, qué hacemos? It's para él. And after the machete to the balls, we go to the herb station, where they explain all these different herbal concoctions that I should take. But I also found out for some people that they just get herbs. That's right. No machetes, no blood, no hooks, no hammers, just herbs. Herbs, herbs. I'll take the herbs. I really wish somebody had told me that earlier. Well, he said to you, you wanted to get to know the machete, and now you get to know the machete. <laughs> <laughs> so, hold on. I want to make some commentary here, because I don't know if you know this man or not, but if you didn't respect him before, you will now. Because that takes some real balls <laughs> to do. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually really calm right now, like very chill. I mean, in that moment, that wasn't a chill moment inside, but like, <coughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Jorge Goliath is not the first person to tell me that I have problems with my testicles. A few years back, a famous Qigong master in LA named Master Zhou told me I had issues with my balls, that I should return for a follow-up healing. Unfortunately, I didn't make it back in time and he's passed. So now here I am with a machete in my ball sack. <laughs> Clearly, they don't make cars for people my size in Cuba. You okay, bud, back there? Or pretty much anywhere. I couldn't think of two guys better to bring to be a part of that. I mean, I just knew I had to do, yeah. to come all this way for me to turn down any diagnosis. I was like, yeah, this all resonates with me. Yeah. Okay. And I always, prior to this, I had this sneaking suspicion that I couldn't get someone pregnant. And I didn't know why. Really? And I just, let's, let's just say there were a few times with a few girlfriends that, and it just never happened. Do you remember what he pulled out of you? Do you remember like the, the piece? Saw it real fast. Yeah. I don't know if that stuff is, like, is that directly from the physical 
somebody or is it like astrally in it? Exactly. Is, is it a representation of something? Yeah. Yeah. So there was nothing for him to sleight of hand with. Yeah. It wasn't like he had to like. That was that was the real deal. Yeah. Holy shit, man. You know, the next few days or whatever, we'll see if your testicular chi is like strong. Um, Al, how do you plan to measure my testicular chi? You're gonna have to count me out. Have you ever connected to a woman to the point where you're like, I want to impregnate this woman? Like the biological urge, you ever felt that? Yeah. Okay, so, think, so that's there. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> no. you've never impregnated anyone? No. Wow. Yeah. I've never gotten anyone pregnant. That is kind of weird. For the amount of raw dogging that you've done. I mean, not, not that I've had that much. I mean, a little. That means something, so. I mean, not never, but not that much. He really picked up on that. In fact, I forgot to tell you that he said, in Spanish, this guy's a raw dog, right? I was like, yeah, he is. He's a false raw dog until I do this for him. He's not actually a real, real RD. Oh, so Al's making fun of me right now. See, in my world, I use raw dog as a verb, as an adverb, as an adjective, as a noun, as a pronoun. Actually, my preferred pronoun is raw dog. Thanks for asking. It's a chant, an affirmation, a salutation, a hello, a goodbye, a word in between two words when you don't know what else to say. It's raw dog. I use raw dog for everything except its actual meaning. And for the very few of you that don't know what raw dog means, look it up. Raw dog, affirmation. But that look of like no sex, and I'm thinking she's ah. like months. She's <laughs> no, like, no, no, no. Sex by no, midnight. no, he's fucking with you. I know, I know. She's but... looking at you like he's a fucking raw dog. That was so wild. Dude, hold on, you know what fucking shocked me? The guy before you, when he, when he put that thing in his eyes. I've seen that a lot though. Oh, up top on the top Sir, of the pupil. I've seen I've always did that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I, that's kind of, I mean, for me and what I've witnessed, that's like a normal one. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally normal. My Uncle Maury, the Moyle, when he's not doing bristles and stuff, yeah, he sticks a kosher butter knife up people's eyelids. They come from everywhere. It's like a mitzvah. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Friday before Shabbos. Bro, you did the thing. You get it? Yeah. You did the thing. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you did the thing. And that's it. Everything's different now, from now, from now on. <laughs> What an amazing moment. What an amazing fucking moment for all of us, man. What an amazing fucking moment. This magic moment. <laughs> what an amazing moment. Unbelievable. Qué momentas asasazos que pasamos ahorita con ese con Goliath. Le operó, le metió el machete, riñón, testículo. Al Cavallero, proud father. My son got a machete in his ball sack for the family. I feel like whoever my kids are should that's right, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for... <laughs> yeah, I did this for you. That's right. Talk about a guilt trip. Your father had his testicles opened up by a shaman in Cuba for you. With a machete. <laughs> Your father... He loves you. He loves he you so... You wouldn't you. be here he without... Didn't even know you. He loved you. He got, he he got so his much. balls opened up by machete. It, it might not be for everyone. Yeah, it's definitely not for everyone. You'll always think of Havana in a special way. My God, dude. <laughs> you think you think you'll talk to anyone ever about Havana without them? Like, <laughs> and it might be an awkward segue, right? Like, there was a moment where you were like this. Was that pain? Or was that the, the perception of or the fear of pain? Did he actually just ask me if that was painful? The perception of pain? What? Why don't we go back to Jorge's and have him put a machete in your ball sack and see if you perceive pain. It was, there was definitely pain. Okay. I was definitely into pain. Was it the formula machete by my balls must be painful or it actually was painful? He's doubling down? Why is it so hard for Al to believe that a machete in my ball sack is painful? Ah. Ooh, ah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe his balls are made of steel. 